everyone, how are you doing? So in this video we're going to be going over Diamonds in the Mud by Jerry Cinnamon. So before we get started, you should just make sure you've got your capo sitting on the fourth fret and that way you'll be ready to go. So to start off with, we're just going to be playing our G major chord. So that's your middle finger in the sixth string in the third fret, your first finger on the fifth string on the second fret, your third finger, second string, third fret, and then your pinky on the first string in the third fret. And that's your G major chord there. So you're just going to hit all six strings when you play that chord there. Alright, so the first bit, how the strumming pattern we're going to do for this bit here, you're just going to play this. Alright, so to do that, we're just going to be doing down, down, up, up. And then we're going to lift our first finger off and we're going to do a down stroke, but we're going to hammer our first finger onto the fourth string on the second fret. And then we're going to lift our first finger off and do an upstroke. And that's just how we're going to do that there, okay? So I'll play that again for you just so you can hear how it sounds. And then I'll talk it through for you again and then we'll carry on with the rest of the song. And that's just how you do that bit there, okay? So it's down, down, up, up. Lift your first finger off, do a downstroke, and hammer your first finger onto the fourth string on the second fret. And then lift your first finger off and do an upstroke. Okay, so you're just going to do down, down, up, up, down, up. Right? So you just do down, down, up, up. Lift your first finger off, hammer on, lift your first finger off, and then up. That's just how you do that there. So you do that twice and then we're going to move on to our C major chord, which is your first finger on the second string in the first fret, your middle finger in the fourth string on the second fret, and then your third finger on the fifth string on the in the fifth string in the third fret. And that's your C major chord there. And this is what the strumming pattern is for our C major chord. Okay, so what we're doing there, we're just going to do a down, down, up, and then we're going to lift our middle finger off, and we're going to do up, down, up, and then we're going to do a down stroke, but hammer our middle finger back onto the fourth string on the second fret, and then down, up, up, down, up, and that's how you do the strumming pattern for the C major chord there. So I'll play that again for you just so you can hear how it sounds, then I'll talk you through it. Uh, one more time and then we'll carry on with the rest of the song. Alright, so we're just doing down, down, up, and then we'll lift our middle finger off, and we're going to do up, down, up, and then we're going to do a, a down stroke, a hammer, hammer our middle finger onto the fourth string in the second fret, then down, up, up, down. That's the strumming pattern for the C major chord there. Alright, so the G and the C chord put together, you're going to get this. And then we're going to go on to a D major chord, which is your first finger on the third string on the second fret your middle finger in the first string in the second fret, and then your third finger on the second string in the third fret. And all we're going to do here is two downstrokes just from the fourth string, and then we're going to hit the first string, and we're going to hammer our pinky onto the third fret, and then we're going to hit the first string again, but lift our pinky off, and then the second string, and then the third string. So we get this here. Okay, so it's just down, down, hitting the first string, hammering on, hammering our pinky onto the third fret, and then lift our pinky off, hit the first string again, and then the second string, and then the third string. Then the next part there, we're back to our C major chord, and we're going to do this here. Right, so we're just going to do a down, down. And then we're going to lift our middle finger off and do an upstroke. And then we're going to lift our middle finger, we'll do an upstroke, but we hammer our middle finger back on to the fourth string in the second fret. So we get this here. Right? 
So it's down, down, up with the hammer on. Then lift our middle finger back off, up, down, up. And that's what we've got for the C major chord the second time round. So it's down, down, up with the hammer on. Lift your middle finger back off, up, down, up. Right, so I'll play that from the very beginning up to the C major chord that we just played there, uh, just so you can hear how it all sounds all together, and then we'll carry on with the rest of the song. G major chord and we're going to play it the exact same way we done at the beginning there so just we are down, down, up, up, hammer on, then on, you do that twice again. Right and that's just your intro and your verse for Diamonds in the Mud there so you just play that once you get to your G chord the second time. So once you've done, actually there's another bit added on to that sorry, so you're doing your G chord the way we done at the beginning. Second time you play your G, you do down, down, up, and then you're going to go back to your D major chord, and you do up, down, up. So all together you've got this. Go back to your D major chord and just do up, down, up, and then you're going back to the beginning there. So I'll play the beginning of the verse for you, just from the very start up to where we just got to there, and then I'll talk you through the chorus. Alright, so the last time you play your G chord, you're doing just the way you played it at the beginning. major chord, up, down, up, and then you're going back to the verse at the very beginning there, and you're just going to be carrying on. So you do that five times, you play it exactly the way you just played there, five times, and then after that you're on to your chorus, and to do that we're going to go on to our E minor chord, which is your middle finger on the fifth string in the second fret, and then your third finger on the fourth string in the second fret, and you're just going to be doing this here, so you've got down, down, up, up, down, up. Then you're back onto your C major, down, down, up, up, down, up, and then you're onto your G major, and you're just going to be playing that just the way you done at the beginning there. Then back to your E minor, C major, G major. Right, so you do that bit just three times, and then we'll carry on to the next part. So you get your E minor, down, down, up, up, down, up, onto your C major, down, down, up, up, down, up, and then onto your G major. You just play that the exact same way you done at the beginning there, and you just do that twice. So it's E minor, down, down, up, up, down, up, C major, down, down, up. Do that three times, and then you're gonna you're, you're gonna be playing the same chords, but you're just gonna do a slightly different strumming pattern now. So you're going back to E minor, and you're just gonna do two downstrokes. Then you hit the first string, second string, third string, and then second string again. So you get this here. Alright, so it's down, down, then first string, second string, third string, second string. And then you're on to your C major chord, but there's one different bit here, so you just got your pinky on the first string in the third fret. That's the only different that's the only difference to a C C major chord there. It's just another way to play it. You get that there. So you're just gonna be doing the same strumming pattern as you've done with your E minor. So you just do down, down, and then it's first string, second string, third string, second string. Right, so you had your E minor. C, C version 2, we'll call it. And then on 
to your G major, you play that the exact same way as you've done before. Right, and then you're going to go back to your E minor again. Once you get to your G major, you're going to be doing that four times, okay? So you're just doing your one, two, three, four. So after the fourth time you play it, you're just going to do down, down, up. So you got one. major up down up and then you're going to go back and do the verse again and right, when you do the verse the second time you're only going to be doing that twice right so all together from the beginning of the verse all the way through the chorus you've got this here diamonds in the mud just from straight through the verse all the way through to the chorus there and then once we've done that uh, you're going to go on to the bridge now so we're going to be doing our uh, D major in fact sorry what to do is when you're playing the chorus the second time instead of doing this here instead of adding your D major chord you're just going to be doing your G major chord four times just like this times like that and then you're straight onto your D major chord then you're going to play this here right so you're doing down down up and on that upstroke you're just going to hammer on your pinky to the third fret in the first string and then pull off so you do down down up and then do up down up okay so it's down down up with the hammer on up down up now once you do that, you're onto your C version 2 chord, that's with your pinky on the first string in the third fret. You're going to do down, down, up, up, down, up, and then onto your G major, and you're going to be playing that just the same way as you've done at the intro. You do that twice, and then you're onto your E minor chord for down, down, up, up, down, up, C version 2, down, down, up. G major, same again, and back onto your D major chord, playing that the same way as you've done at the beginning, down, down, up, with a hammer on and pull off, up, down, up, C version 2, and then onto your G major, do that twice, Then you're going to go on to a different strumming pattern, so you're going to play the same chords as the chorus, it's a different strumming pattern now, so you get your E minor. So it's down, down, what, first string, second string, second string, third string, and then second string. Then on to your C version 2, same, exact same again, down, down, one, two, three, two. then on to your G. 
again. So you do that twice. Then back to your E minor again. C seven, uh, C version two, sorry. G. E minor again. C version two. G. Right, so you do that bit three times there. So you're just doing E minor down, down, first string, second string, third string, second string. C version 2, with your pinky on the 1st string and the 3rd fret Down, down, 1st string, 2nd string, 3rd string, 2nd string and Then your G major, down, down, up, up, down, on So you do that 3 times and then after the 3rd time you're going to go back to your E minor Do the same strumming as you've done before Down, down, 1st string, 2nd string, 3rd string, 2nd string Then your C version 2 So that's a different bit there. So your C version two, down, down, first string, second string. Then you're going to hammer on, lift your middle finger off, hammer on to the fourth string, and then pull off, and then play your G chord. And that's where you finish there. Right. So that last wee bit there, so your E, C version two. Right. So you're just going to go down, down. First string, second string, lift your middle finger off and do a hammer on and pull off. But you can do a pull off or you can just lift your middle finger off and then hit the string again, whatever you feel better doing. So you've got down, down, first string, second string, lift your middle finger off and then finish off with your G chord. And that is Diamonds in the Mud by Jerry Cinnamon. So I hope you enjoy that video. Uh, I'll let you get on with practicing that. Again, I will have the tabs up on my Facebook page for you as soon as possible. Uh, so you should go on to facebook.com slash mcnaughtonguitar. Uh, if you go on and like that page, you'll have the tabs for all the videos that I do on my YouTube page. Uh, so you can go on there, keep an eye on all the songs that I've been doing. So you should give a like on there, that would be a huge help. If you could also subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can be kept up to date with all the videos that I'll be doing, that would be another huge help. Thank you. And I'll let you get on with practicing that. So I'll have another video up as soon as possible. Bye.